What's up everybody? I'm in my parents garage. Got the kayaks in the background making me think of the outdoors. I want to show you guys a cool fill that I've been working on. Check it out. Let's slow that down. So I'm playing right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left. Basically, you could loop the fill right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. That's actually a good way to practice the sticking. But the way you get out of the fill and transition back into the groove is you play right, left, right, left. And then you're back into the groove. It's fun to play and it's just fun to loop if you feel like playing fast on the drums for a long time. You can get a little carried away sometimes, like me. Essentially, this right-left kick sticking you can put it around various drums and various arrangements. So you can play... Or you can play... Or you can play... Or... Any combination of right-left kick. I don't know if you're into free jazz or if you're just trying to do a big fill at the end of a song, it's a good sticking. That one's also really fun because you have a bit of a crossover and for anybody watching a drummer, crossover is like, ah, it's the craziest thing, it's like the funnest thing to watch. I think I'm supposed to make it look easy and that kind of looked hard. Whew, it's a good workout and if you're staying at home playing drums all day, what better way to work out? Okay, there's another crossover. Kind of sounds like it could be the start to a Queens of the Stone Age song. So one more time, let's play through that, playing the fill in the context. Thanks for watching. This is John Foster.